Hi, my name is Joseph Park, the WWE Champion of the World, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Well, a few minutes ago, it was just released that David Price would in fact replace Joseph Parker to take on Derek Chisora at the O2 Arena on October the 26th. Now, my initial reaction to this is, first of all, of no great surprise. Um, I think it was an automatic choice in some ways. But also on the flip side of that, it is a bit of a disadvantage to David Price from one point of view, because we know that his next fight day was meant to be on the Callum Smith John Ryder undercard in Liverpool. But now he's coming forward, well, now he's got two and a half weeks to prepare for Derek Chisora. But at the same time, Derek Chisora, of course, he's got two and a half weeks to prepare for David Price. But the thing is with it is that Chisora, he's been training for a smaller guy, faster hands, faster feet. Now he's got David Price, who's a bit more rigid, but punches stupidly hard. So which one really has the advantage in this fight? I don't know. For me, I feel that Derek Chisora has got the slight advantage because he's been in camp for quite some time. I don't know about David Price, if he's been in the gym, um, but I think that David Price, I think he's taken this fight as an opportunity. If he gets past Derek Chisora, then he's getting that step toward fighting a real, real big name for big, big money. So we can certainly see the advantages of that one, much like it was when he took on Alexander Povetkin. Um, with Derek Chisora, if he was to lose to David Price, is it career over? Maybe, potentially, I don't know. But I think that um, Derek Chisora, he'll keep on going until he can't punch no more. But I do feel that uh, Chisora is probably going to be the favourite in this fight. Maybe some of you guys are going to disagree with me. But I do like the replacement, and it is somewhat of a pay-per-view saviour, in the sense of people will love this fight. In an ideal scenario, both of these guys would have had much more time to prepare for each other. Because ultimately, if David Price loses... He's got the excuse, well, I only had two and a half weeks. If Chisora loses, he's got the excuse of, well, I only had two and a half weeks switching from Parker to David Price. Totally different styles. But David Price, of course, he does have the Olympic and amateur background. So he's very, very good at boxing when he gets his head on. He really does. Um, as he showed with um, Dave Allen, he can keep these guys at distance. But the problem is, is that Dave Allen, he'll come in, he'll get on the chest and doesn't really throw too much. He does throw heavy shots, but Chisora will throw the shots. So David Price is going to have to be a lot more alert in this fight. Either way, listen, it's a good fight. It's a fight that's going to pique the interest of me and I'm sure many of you guys. You guys will have your favourites as to who you think will win this fight. Both of these guys can be knocked out, but Derek Chisora has only really been knocked out twice. One by Dillian White and then one by David Hay. Both these guys, very, very big punchers. David Price is also a very, very big puncher. But of course, we have seen David Price on the deck more than once and knocked out as well. So for me, this fight ain't going the distance. I can't see it going the distance. Somebody is getting knocked out in this fight. Anyway, that's my views on it all. You drop me yours, click thumbs up and of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.